Thank you, Liz. Ooh, what's happening here? Uh, oh, there. Great. I put a timer on because otherwise uh, I will probably be speaking too much. Great. Yes, my name is Lasse Mäkelä. <clears throat> I'm the co-founder and CEO of uh, Investor. We are, uh, Investor is a, um, a leading equity-based crowdfunding player in the Northern Europe. Uh, I'll, I'll speak a little bit about Investor, and then I'll speak about the crowdfunding market, and then we go to move to uh, Iron Sky. Great. So basically what we are doing, we are building a leading equity-based uh, player uh, in the Europe, uh, and uh, we've started from Finland. Uh, we have about 60% market share there, and now we are sort of uh, uh, little by little expanding to other, other markets. We have a good uh, industry uh, expert team uh, in behind, behind Investor, and we have an open, transparent, uh, and scalable service model, and also impressive list of global firsts in the crowdfunding uh, uh, scene. So basically what we are doing, it's, a, it's an easy uh, marketplace for unlisted growth uh, companies uh, uh, to raise funding, and the investors uh, can come pretty much anywhere around the world. Um, and in Iron Sky's uh, situation, there were 421 investors who came from 27 different countries uh, in, that, uh, in that project. We, have, we are working with uh, quite a good uh, uh, list of uh, companies, not so well known here, but the largest uh, business angel networks uh, in, in Finland, uh, two uh, big um, wealth management companies, uh, and of course KPMGs and uh, all, all these other other players as well. We are also working with a four uh, Nordic crowdfunding platforms. We are we formed this kind of alliance where we are trying to uh, promote crowdfunding um, pan Nordic wise and uh, bring it more to to um, <clears throat> to the general general knowledge and also to share the the deal flow between the five crowdfunding platforms. Here are a few facts uh, about us. So more than 360 companies have uh, uh, put their, imp uh, their pitches uh, on, on our system. We have uh, ran so far 71 equity uh, campaigns, 21 successful out of those. So uh, it's, it's, and then there's about uh, 14,000, about 15,000 registered users at the moment. 2.8 uh, million has been raised so far. So numbers are still small. But uh, as equity crowdfunding in general, it's growing quite rapidly at the moment. The, the team behind us, uh, my, my background is, uh, uh, I've been working on, on banking. Uh, um, here actually started in, in London uh, at Merrill Lynch at that time. Uh, worked four years there on uh, equity, um, <coughs> uh, sort of offerings, IPOs, all kinds of uh, restructuring, re restructurings. After that, I worked about four years in, uh, in uh, a local investment bank uh, in Finland, and then in three different companies in industry before, before Investor. So basically what we are doing here is that we are taking the old, uh, let's say the traditional processes of raising funding and automatizing it and digitalizing it and bringing it to a very structured format in the internet. So, Basically, the same processes go there in behind, but finally, it's very easy to use for, for, for people. Then uh, we have two other investment bankers uh, uh, here uh, behind who have been working very much on the, on the equity raising, then a lawyer, and then a, uh, a, a marketing and sales person from Oracle. Okay, so crowd investing, what is it? Basically, multiple investors, uh, they, they put small amounts of money, and then you get the funding for your, for your project. Sometimes the small investments can be bigger ones as well. In our case, currently the largest uh, single investment is 100,000 euros. So there are, there are big business angels also using our service nowadays. Here a little bit the uh, crowdfunding scene in general. You, you normally you have uh, sort of splitting the market in four, four different categories. Uh, and there are some of the logos. Of course, there are a lot, lot more. I think there's about 800 crowdfunding platforms at the moment in the world. Uh, but the Kickstarter, Indiegogo, uh, maybe the best knowns 
in rewards-based and donation-based, and then you have the specific donation-based <laughs> companies, and then you have the le lending side, debt side, and then the equity side. We at the investor, we are focusing on the equity side, and we are ho hoping to go to the debt side later on as well. And just to give a, a little idea about the market, uh, the market is growing really rapidly, almost 200% growth in the last two years, and uh, it's expected to reach uh, quite, a, quite a big number. So I think there are altogether crowdfunding, there are estimates that it's going to be 90 billion or even 300 billion in the next 10 years. So basically what's happening is all processes are transformed into a um, sort of uh, uh, digitalized uh, format. Okay, so it's a modern way to raise funding, uh, and it's a massive growth, and crowdfunding is here to stay. Then, uh, a few slides about the uh, Iron Sky. Tero will be speaking more about this soon, but uh, they raised 265,000 uh, uh, through, through um, equity crowdfunding, and, and uh, the, it came from 27 different countries, those investors. Just looking at the, so why, why was it successful? What, what really happened there? Of course, there are a lot of, lot of parameters, but I'm trying to sort of put only simple, most important parameters here uh, uh, in terms of equity crowdfunding, what is important. So one really important thing is, of course, the clear uh, target audience, or, fa <coughs> excuse me, or fan base. Uh, then you need to engage people, of course, uh, uh, and give them a great opportunity. That's, that's pretty much it. So you need to offer something concrete and interesting for those fans. And then, of course, word of mouth, social media, uh, sort of making it big, uh, big hype around, around the, uh, the um, uh, offering. That's, of course, important to reach more people who are already your fans. And then finally, it's a, it's a success. Hopefully, <laughs> I think there are a little bit more things going in there as well. But, uh, but uh, just the those are the basic uh, building blocks, and and uh, Tero will be speaking a little bit more about the what they really really did there behind. Then finally, uh, just the uh, sort of seven uh, uh, values what what equity crowdfunding is bringing to 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 the, the company. Of course, first one is the access to capital. So uh, that's why normally you do crowdfunding. You, you get funding for, for your project or for your company. Then other interesting thing is the, the, uh, the, uh, that you can actually have a different types of investors in one round. In IPOs, in the uh, stock exchange offerings, you often have these institutional offerings, retail offerings, and offerings to different kind of segments of people. Whereas here, the idea is that you, you actually have one set of uh, rules, one set of uh, terms, and ev everybody invests into that project. We have actually been speaking with uh, uh, some of the um, sort, of pu sort of public funding uh, agencies in Finland, and we are hoping that at some point it would be possible also to put public funding in the, into this uh, uh, sort of category with the same terms than ev everybody else. It's still far, but uh, I think that this is actually a very, very possible way to go forward with, uh, with crowdfunding. Exit opportunities. We have created a secondary market uh, with, with one of our partners uh, called Privanet. And basically, we, there is a possibility of uh, trading those shares after you have raised funding through investor. Um, so you actually have a secondary market for, for the shares as well like a mini stock exchange, basically. Visibility, of course, this is a marketing campaign. You get a visibility for your company, for your product, um, and it's extremely important part of the, uh, what's happening in crowdfunding. Then product service validation. This is very important. Um, it may be that if, if you don't get any funding, so there may be something wrong with your product. Uh, there may be something to improve in your product. So it's also a good feedback direct feedback because it's a market-based uh, system. So if, they, if people like it, then they invest. They always think that, well, there are other investment opportunities as well. But if this is really interesting and I want to be there, 
then I invest. So it's a very important element of crowdfunding. And then customer owner structures. I think these are interesting when you want to deepen your customer's relationship to the company. So, so that's important uh, thing as well. And then the final uh, value is really the fan engagement. And I want to show a little bit about this. So basically, if you have fans and ownership, uh, we call them ambassadors. You, you get ambassadors who are, they have a longer relationship with your company than in rewards-based crowdfunding. Because in rewards-based, normally you sell the product, once the person gets the product, they, they don't really have any connection more with your company. Whereas if they are owners, they have more relationship with your company in the future as well. So this is a very important element of, of equity crowdfunding. And then, uh, well, normally if you have ambassadors, you have a stronger word of mouth marketing, and then you also have a stronger loyalty for, for, your, for, for your products. And uh, it's a good, ex a good example is there is this one brewery restaurant in, in Helsinki where I myself uh, own few shares. Uh, they, they raise funding through, through our, our platform. And pretty much every time I have a business meeting, I propose for a lunch this brewery restaurants. I always bring them there. It's always a nice story. I can say that, well, I actually a little bit own this place as well and, and can come to have a beer with in my, my pub, basically. So it's, a, it's an interesting story and people like that. And this is, this is the good example of this um, sort of big marketing uh, based on, 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 the, uh, on the loyalty. I think I'm finishing it here and now Tero will continue from here. Thanks. Uh, I'm producing films, mainly films, and uh, I, I have been doing that for 20 years. Uh, but the last 10 years I've been uh, engaging audiences, and we have been doing this Iron Sky. This, uh, uh, you might have heard about it, uh, a science fiction comedy about Nazis, Nazis from the moon. <laughs> and, and we did it for seven years. We did a, a huge amount of collaboration with our fan base, which is worldwide, which is growing, it's, it's, it's uh, pretty big. And, but nevertheless, we really struggled to get that, oops, <laughs> to get that off the ground. So Iron Sky, we did this Iron Sky after seven years of struggling and we finally, finally succeeded to make the film uh, after doing a successful crowdfunding, which was uh, this, what I call Kickstarter model. And, and then we got the film released two years ago uh, and we had millions of people watching the film. This was for us a sign we need to continue the story. So um, we set up Iron Sky Universe. It's a company owned by me as a producer and Timo Warrenso as a director. And we started to uh, uh, think wider. And instead of doing one feature film, we need to do wider thing. And we, we, we want to expand this uh, uh, franchise to start to do TV series, to do films, to do games, and to do other cool things. And we need capital for that. So what was a natural choice for us was to think, what can we do with our crowds? We have been doing it seven years. We have created something. And what's the next step? Then I saw this investor.com, this platform. I knew immediately this is something to consider. And, and that's it. That's how we started to, to uh, build up our pitch, which you can all find here in the investor platform. And you just log in and you see it there. And it's basically explaining what we want to do and, and of course, there was a big, 
big uh, valuation process. So, I mean, we are, we are going to, we are doing a, a share, we are, we are selling the share of the company. So what's the value? And, and of course, it's, um, it's something which is based on our belief, what we can build with Iron Sky Universe, and, and there <coughs> we ended up in an amount of two and a half million. And, and we wanted to, uh, first of all, sort of like make a first round to get a bit further, the first step with our company, and to make pretty um, modest, or at least not too big target, and we ended up that, that we are ready to uh, share 10% of the company, or up to 10% of the company. And, and we made the target like uh, minimum to find 50,000 and maximum 150,000. And then we did our pitch, and uh, we spent a lot of time of creating uh, a marketing plan for two months campaign to make sure that we can uh, reach at least 50,000 to get us further. Before, the last seven years, focusing on one film and hitting your head on the wall, finally doing it and hoping it goes well, this time we wanted to try to start also there, to start to develop the TV, to start to develop the games, to start to develop everything. And, and, and this is the first step. And we really made a big effort to build up like a communication plan and a collaboration plan with our fans. And, and we had a plan for two months. And what happened? We opened the campaign, um, and this is important. You open it first, hide it. The campaign is not public, but, but it's open, and you, you contact your fans your uh, communities, and, and I think it was the first day we reached like the minimum amount, 50,000. And in a couple of days, we were uh, over our maximum target. This was the point we decided that, that we want to go a bit further, and we, we ended up there, like Lasse said, 265,000 euros. And that's it. We were really happy. We were, um, we were looking for capital, but we were also looking for um, a new, to build up, set up a new community. And, and, and that's what we also stressed out in our pitch very much, that it's not only the money we are looking for. We are looking for, for contacts. There's people who has probably cool ideas and, and whatever to help us. And, <coughs> And, uh, and since we did this campaign, we have been now quite closely in contact with these people and, and sort of like find already few really, really um, helpful uh, communication with these people. Uh, we are planning as a next step because we, we do have a, a, a pretty ambitious plan with the whole franchise. and. Uh, and now we are focusing right now in a, in a next feature film. It's a sequel. Uh, it's called Iron Sky, The Coming Race. Which, um, which, with, with that, we go back to uh, kickstart the model of crowdfunding, which we are preparing right now and starting that in November 6th. Uh, for the company, once we get the, that film in the production that we can show that something is happening, we are going to start the second stage of this equity crowdfunding uh, to, to hopefully take us again to a next level. Uh, so basically, that's it from my point of view. It is, um, I have to say that it, it was less work than I thought, because it's basically something like you, in a mini world, you go to a stock exchange, and I thought that this, this is going to be a huge operation. There was a lot of work, 
but not that much in the end of the day. Um, I'm around here for the questions later if you, if you have, and that's it. Thank you.